a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A company called Propel, in the actually not too distant past, created these Star Wars drones. There's three of them right now. The X-Wing, there's a TIE Fighter, and there's also a speeder bike. These drones retail for $199, and apart from the opening of the box, which is pretty impressive, they also have a lot of neat features inside. So I'm going to quickly show you. The music is going to start playing again to a different track, actually, this time. There's a few that change as you open the box. And the top part comes off here to reveal the drone. And I'm going to put the cot lid back on this thing because it can actually get pretty annoying after a while. So this comes off. And to keep it quiet, you just pop that back on. So here's the X-Wing. It's uh, remarkably detailed for a, a drone this size. Um, there's a little, you know, little bits of battle damage and space wear and things like that. You can see it's the, uh, the T-65 from the original trilogy, uh, not uh, The Force Awakens. Um, on the bottom here are various sensors and things like that. Here's where the rotors go. Uh, we'll show you the rest of it in the box. And the top part pops off to put in the battery, which I'll show you also in a minute. So opening up the box some more. We have several different pieces, which will slide out. And the top here is a training cage, which, which will fit around the rotors, sort of like this. Um, so when you're first learning how to fly this thing, it helps protect everything. Um, obviously, it takes away from the aesthetics, but it's probably good for those new learners. And then we have the controller here. Will pop open. Now this is the controller that goes with the X-Wing fighter and as you can see it has the uh, Rebel insignia on it and it's white with uh, gray accents. The one for the Empire is a black controller uh, with, with, uh, with, all, with other silver colored accents. Um, it's, you know, as you can see it's, it's about the size of the drone itself uh, but it's still very comfortable to use. It has two joysticks and a few buttons here and some shoulder buttons as well. And in the front here is a little thing that pops out. Propel is going to be releasing a, an app for the iPhone uh, so that you can use it in conjunction with the controller and the drone. And you'll be able to play against other people online and things like that. So that's this. And the, and the um, let's see, well, it's not powered up now because this needs some batteries. But this itself plays music and quotes and things like that from the movie too, which is also pretty cool. So going further into the box, we have other accessories. We have all the rotors. There's A and B rotors. Uh, there's additional little uh, uh, little uh, antenna things here for the in case these break off, which is nice to see. And then you also get this little tool for uh, uh, removing the rotors from the, uh, the, the drone itself. So lastly, we have this box here, which is the charger and the batteries. And if I can pop these out here, the batteries actually sort of blend into uh, the drone itself. So this sort of pops off like that and the battery slides in just like so. And as you can see, it'll start blinking uh, once it's activated. So what's nice about this is that you get two batteries uh, so that you can be charging one while flying the drone with the other. Um, flight time is about 10 minutes, and it takes about maybe 15 to 20 minutes to recharge the battery. So there's going to be a little bit of downtime, but at least you'll still be able to get some action in uh, fairly continuously. So here's the battery, and then it also comes with a little wall charger as well. So that's a quick look at what you get with the uh, collector's edition box of the Propel Star Wars drone. 
Um, it's a lot of fun to fly. It's very easy. And one of the neat things about these drones is that you can fight them against each other. There's little lasers in the front that allow you to, um, you know, shoot down virtually the other, the other uh, pilots and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. It's a little bit tricky, but still a lot of fun. Um, definitely uh, one of the better drones this year, uh, especially one of the best Star Wars drones I've ever seen. Um, and it's, you know, hours of fun.